from London Influence in Portland, Oregon. The guy that takes care of my locks told me about a legend here in Okanagan Lake, much similar to the Loch Ness legend in Scotland. Now, Catherine from Tourism Kelowna is going to tell us all about it. You can't talk about Ogopogo without first talking about Okanagan Lake. It's a very long, 68 miles from end to end. It was formed by the glaciers, and it's very deep. From the top of the mountains around us to the bottom of the lake is actually deeper than the Grand Canyon. Wow. That gives the faint possibility that there could be something in this lake that we don't really understand. Recently you guys had a little bit of a sighting though, right? We did. In fact, we get usually about one a year, maybe maybe a couple extra. Give After some of the wine from all the wineries on the hill. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> the more wine, the more sightings. <laughs> <laughs> but you actually have this on camera though. You have pictures of this. Yeah, we do. We, we um, had a resident who saw a very strange uh, water spout in the middle of the lake for no apparent reason and she took a picture. The waterfront's beautiful. Our hotel, Monteo Resort, mm -hmm. is first class hotel. You, wouldn't, you just wouldn't expect that right here. Yeah, it is. It's absolutely stunning resort hotel and right on the lake as you can see, very central, lots of wineries. The other great thing about the Manteo is the Wild Apple Restaurant and their chef, Bernard Cassavant, is a BC superstar chef. And it's right on the lake too, so it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Now I want to see more of Kelowna because we just got here and we've never been to Kelowna. Well, come on, I'll show you. Kelowna means grizzly bear, which is the significance of this right here, right? And this exactly. is relatively new. It is. It, we just opened this park where we're standing, Stewart Park, in uh, just a couple months ago, actually. We've got City Hall across the street. We've got the downtown core and the cultural district. So we're right in the middle of it all. The cultural district, that was at one time the heart of the fruit industry and the packing house kind of quarter of Kelowna. And the fruit industry kind of grew into the grape industry, which has grown into an explosion of wineries here. Absolutely. So it was, uh, the soils around here are ideal for growing pretty much anything. Besides that, what's unique to Kelowna? What's different about this town than maybe, say, Vancouver, BC, or other towns in Canada? The climate is very different. The lifestyle, too. Lots of um, outdoor activities, mountain biking, skiing, um, any winter sport that you can think of, snowshoeing, snow biking, whatever it, it happens to be, and, it, and it, um, you can do that right here. 